Hello and welcome to the Fire Sprint video series. I'm going to take you through using Illustrator CS4 to design a sign today. We're going to start by going to File New and you're going to see this new document window here. I'm going to title this the same as my PO, so PO1234. The width should be 24 inches and the height should be 18 inches, assuming you're using a 24 by 18 sign. Uh, if you have a different size sign, you can adjust that here. Make sure that the units are set to inches over here. This is very important. I'm going to click OK. Now I have this artboard. Now our print area is actually 17 inches tall by 23 inches wide. And the sign itself is, of course, 18 inches tall by 24 inches wide. So I want to define that somehow so we know what our workspace is. So I'm going to hit Control R or go to View, Show Rulers. And it shows me my rulers here. I'm going to drag my rulers out or drag my guides out rather from the ruler. I just click and drag off the ruler and down and put the guides about where I want them. Now I'm going to right click and you see how locked guides is selected here. I'm going to uncheck that and that allows me to select these guides and put them exactly where I want them by using the X Y axis is up on the top here. You can see half inch, 0.5, half inch, 0.5. Now I'm going to right click and select lock guides again. And that allows me to keep those guides in the background without interfering. Now we're going to start with a rectangle. I'm just going to draw this rectangle down here. And I'm going to get my selection tool, make sure that's selected. And over here on my color palette, I'm going to select black and make sure you have the fill selected rather than the stroke here fill okay we'll get that back out of the way now we're going to start with some text here and you can see I went from the text tool or the type tool to the selection tool or the arrow and I'm going to make this text larger. Now if I hold shift while I scale this out, it'll stay in scale or stay proportional. If I let go of shift, then I can move it however. Now let's make this impact. Drag it over here. And I can't see that, so I need to make it a contrasting color. So white. Now one trick is I can select this text, hold down the Alt key, and drag down. This, of course, is on a Windows machine. And I can change this text now to Great Deals. We're going to change this font just to add some definition there. Now I did it again. I, I just selected it and I held out when I dragged it down. Now I want these to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold shift key while I do that. Scale them up. Okay. Now that sign looks pretty good, but not everything's perfectly centered. I want to get it all perfectly centered and I don't just want to eye it. So I'm going to go to window, align here. And that's going to bring up my align toolbar here. And if I hit Control A, it'll select everything. And then align to artboard here I have selected. See how that centers it? If I was going to go to the right, it would center everything to the right of the artboard, to the left of the artboard, or the center. All right, now this sign is basically done. I'm going to select it all. Now this is probably the most important and most overseen step. I'm going to go to Type and Create Outlines. It's also convert to curves or convert to paths, depending on the software you're using. That's very important, because if we don't have some of these fonts you've used, uh, then we won't be able to view this file correctly. But if you convert to outlines, it basically changes 
the uh, letters to shapes. And then it's irrelevant if we have the fonts or not, we can um, raster this shape or render this shape with our software. Okay, now one final step. This is often overlooked. I want to save a copy for web and devices, which is basically save a JPEG version of this. The JPEG version is harder to edit. It's harder for there to be an error with the file in, in the event that you send it. And so we can get this and look at it and proof it and make sure that the signs we print look just like this JPEG you send. So save that, and that's PO1234-proof. I'm just going to save that to our desktop here. And then I'm going to go to File, Save As, an EPS file. And that's PO1234 again. And you can see here Illustrator CS4. If you're using a newer version of Illustrator, you may want to back save it to CS4. In fact, you should back save it to CS4 for us. Um, all the rest of this stuff doesn't change much, um, especially since you have no fonts in the file and whatnot. So we're just going to click OK. Now you should be able to save to an EPS out of Corel Draw, out of Flexi, out of uh, just about any other sort of vector editing software that you use. And that's about all you have to do. Send us those two files with your purchase order, and we'll get your signs printed right up.